Either, from time to time, you may want to send an email to multiple contacts on your mailing list, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So, inside your MailChimp dashboard, click the pencil icon, Create, at the left side of the screen, and then click the Email option. So, as you can see, we have three tabs here, Regular, Automated, and Plain Text. And we now want to be on the default regular tab. I will now pick a name for my campaign and type it below the campaign name caption. So for example, if I'm in the business of selling diamonds and I want to offer the people on my list to come to a diamond buying event, then I can give to my campaign the same name that I gave to my event. So inside the blank line, I will type the name of my event, the best diamond event of the year. You can of course pick any name you want, but I suggest that you will pick a campaign name that in a few months or even years from now, you will still remember what it is. The campaign name should remind you what your campaign is about, but you don't have to make the campaign name compelling because your subscribers will never see your campaign name, only you will see it. Once you type the campaign name you want, just click the begin gray button below the line to continue. Now let's go over this checklist that MailChimp has created for us here. So the first item on this checklist is the to caption. And next to it, on the right side of the screen, we will want to click on the edit recipients gray button. I only have one MailChimp audience, so there is no need for me to click on the audience drop down list to select another audience. Yet if you do have an additional audience that you want to select, then feel free to select it from the drop down list under the audience caption. Now, right next to the audience caption, we have the segment or tag caption, and under it, we have a drop down list as well. We can either leave the all subscribers in audience option selected if we want to email all the subscribers in our audience, which as we can see is the default option, or we can just send an email to our subscribers based on a tag we created or based on a segment. In this example, I want to email my entire audience about my upcoming diamond buying event, so I will keep the default all subscribers in audience option. Now, if you want to make your emails more personal by mentioning your subscriber's name in your email to field, for example, to Jack Davis, if this is the full name of one of my subscribers, then just tick the box next to the caption Personalize the to field. Then under the merge tag caption, click the please select text inside the drop down list, then click the F name option, and then click the gray save button to save the changes. Now, the second item in our checklist is the from caption. Here we need to let the people on our list know who is sending them the email. And we can do that by clicking the gray Add From button on the right side of the screen and then insert our personal name or our company's name and an email address. We need to insert a name that our subscribers will instantly recognize once it shows in their email's inbox. So for example, instead of Ask Instructor, I will change the name under the name caption to Diamonds Tutor which is my company's name in this example. I will keep the default email address under the email address caption as is, and you can do the same or change it if you like. Okay, so we have now reached the third item in our checklist, subject, and here I will click the gray add subject button in the right side of the screen to create my email's subject line. Now inside the blank line under the subject caption, I will type my email's subject and we will want to make our subject lines enticing so we can increase the chances that our audiences will open our emails. So I can write something like the best diamond event of the year. And I can also add an emoji, which is a digital image inside my subject line. You can put it anywhere you wish. Again, to grab people's attention and to increase the chances that our subscribers will open our emails. So to add an emoji, I will click the tiny smiling face symbol at the end of the line 
and browse through the different emojis until I find an emoji that I like. Once I find one, I will just click on it to add it to my subject line. That's it. Under the subject caption, we have the preview text caption and in the blank line under it, we can insert some preview text. This is a teaser text which will appear next to our email's subject line. So I can write something like up to 70% of deals. After you type your preview text, just click the gray save button below to save your changes and continue. The last item in the checklist is content. So next to the content caption, we will want to click on the gray design email button to design the content of our email. On the select a template page, we have a few tabs that we can click on. But in this lesson, I want to show you the easiest and quickest way to send an email and thus we will start with a basic layout. Let's scroll down inside the default layouts tab and just go through the different layouts. Now you can hover your mouse over a certain layout and click the magnifying glass at the top right hand corner of the layout image to see a preview of the layout before you enter it. And you can also click on the layout image to edit the layout. I will click the one column layout image under the basic caption to design my email. So I will edit the email from top to bottom. Let's upload our logo by clicking the gray logo box and then click the replace link under your default logo caption on the right side of the screen. Then I will click the upload gray button at the upper right hand corner of the screen to locate my logo on my computer. Once I find it, I will click on it and then click the open button below to upload the file. Then once I see the logo in the MailChimp editor, I can either leave it as is or adjust the image display size. Once I'm happy with how the logo looks, I will click the save and close gray button below to save my changes and continue. Next, I will hover my mouse over the body text area on the left side of the screen and then click the delete garbage can icon to delete the default text. The are you sure pop-up box comes up and I'm sure that I want to delete the blocks so I will click the gray delete button at the left side of the pop-up box. Then I will left click and hold the text box under the blocks tab and drag it until I reach the drop content blocks here caption under the body area and then drop the text box. And this will open the text editor on the right side of the screen. So I'll just highlight all the default MailChimp text by double left clicking inside the text editor area and then I will click the Del button on my keyboard to delete the text. And then I will type my text which is I and then I will click the gray drop down list under the content tab and click on the first name option so I can include it in my text. Then right after the first name text, I will just type something like the following. Thanks for being one of our subscribers. Christmas, the most costly holiday, is just around the corner. We are here to help with your costs. Here is how. In a few weeks, we are going to host the best diamond event of the year. This must attend event is easily the best direct to consumer diamonds event catering to the needs of diamonds enthusiasts. In this event, we will display a wide array of diamonds, round princess, oval, marquise, pearl, cushion, emerald, asher, radiant, art, and much more for rock button prices, GIA only. Because you are one of our email subscribers, we have decided to give you a gift, 100% free entry to this event. Regular entry fee is $29.99. All you need to do to claim the free entry is to reply to this email and let us know that you are interested in coming to the event. We will then contact you back a few days later with precise event date, gate opening, 
time and location. Best regards, Ami Rimmer, owner of Diamonds Tutor, diamondstutor.com. So once you have finished writing your body text, just click the gray save and close gray button at the bottom right side of the screen to save your changes and continue. Then click the blue continue button at the top right hand corner of the screen and then the blue send button at the top right hand corner of the screen. In this review your campaign pop-up box, I can see that my email will be sent to two subscribers that I have on my list, which is okay because I only have two subscribers on my example mailing list. So I will just click the blue send now button below to send my email. And as you can see by the message, the email will go out shortly. Now, one of the subscribers on my mailing list is me. So I can actually open my email inbox and see the message that I just sent. And if we open the email, we will be able to see the email's body text. So that's it for this lesson. And I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.